A while ago, I made a quick video about the Nest Hello doorbell from Google, criticising the fact that it was aimed solely at consumers who already had a wired doorbell at their front door. Because if you don't have a wired doorbell, then the officially recommended route from Google is to pay for a pricey Pro installation. In the video, I said they should either include an appropriate transformer in the box, or sell an official one separately. The video certainly divided opinion with lots of lively discussion in the comments, and I think it's fair to say quite a few people missed the point I was making. Yes, if you know what you're doing, like I and many others do, it's easy to wire up the right transformer, but if you're not confident with electronics, then your only other option is to buy a third-party transformer from an unknown supplier. And it's quite reasonable, I think, to be cautious about that, especially on a gadget that's certainly not cheap. And that was my point, why not make it easier for the average consumer to make use of this product via official routes without having to pay for an expensive professional installation? Since I made that video, Google have actually started selling a certified third-party power adapter for it in the USA, but there's still no such official accessory in the UK. So in this video, which is specifically aimed at the UK and Ireland, but will be relevant to many people around the world, I'm sure, I'll be showing you two things. Firstly, which transformer to buy and how to wire it up, and then how I fitted my Nestello doorbell to my UPVC doorframe, with the cable running through the inside of the frame itself, hiding all the wires from sight for a really nice, neat job. Follow the steps in this video entirely at your own risk and only if you are experienced, knowledgeable and proficient in the relevant trades. If you are in any doubt, consult a certified professional. This video is provided for information and entertainment purposes only and no responsibility can be taken for any damage, injury or warranty issues. So my recommendation would be to purchase a generic bell transformer like this one from Screwfix which costs under £9. The Hello requires a transformer which will provide between 12 and 24 volts of AC at 8 volt amps of power, so this one is ideal. The transformer is a very simple device which has two non-polarised inputs for the positive and negative from your mains power supply and four outputs. One for the ground and then a choice of 8, 12 or 24 volts as the outputs. The Nest Hello will happily run at either 12 or 24 volts, but if we choose to run it at the higher of those two voltages, 24 volts, then it won't need to draw as much current, so the choice of bell cable will be less important. So, to test it out and make sure it all worked, I took an old power cable from my box of spares. A two-core cable is all that's needed, as there's no earth connection going to the transformer. If they're not already exposed, use a wire stripper to strip and twist a short length from each core, and then do the same with the length of bell cable on each end. You can pop these little included cable clips onto the cable if you like, although they're not required, and then we'll connect the mains cable into the bottom of the transformer, making sure the wires are fully in with no exposed copper visible, and connect the bell wire into the top of the transformer at the 0 and 24 volt contacts. Then it's just a case of connecting the other end of the bell wire to the device itself. Again, the connections aren't polarised, so it makes no difference which you connect to which. With that done, we can connect to the mains power and the Nest Hello boots up just fine. You can then skip through most of the setup process in the Nest app after you've scanned the QR code on the back as it guides you through integrating into an existing hardwired setup with a chime. But if there's no chime, then there's nothing to set up and it's just a very simple wiring like you see here. Someone's at front door. Now, if you go down the proper bell transformer route, then you'll want to mount that transformer somewhere properly, especially as the connections going into it are live, so little and big fingers need to stay away. Depending on the location of your fuse box, you might be able to mount it in there and feed straight from the mains, or if, like me, your consumer unit is miles away from the front door anyway, a little one- to two-way transformer enclosure like this is a great option, as it can be securely wall-mounted and kept out of the way and out of sight. Inside it has a short rail just big enough for the one transformer and the top screws in place keeping everything secure. Punch out holes at the top and bottom allow you to thread the cables in and out of it and I mounted mine high up in the corner of the porch and the black cable you see there was swapped out for a white cable which blends into the wall better. And now things started to get really complicated for me as I have a porch with a UPVC door frame and I wanted to mount the doorbell with the cables completely invisible from the outside to keep it looking as tidy as possible. I started by removing the upper door keep to get a look inside the frame, which is obviously plastic on the outside but is metal on the inside. Poking this flexible curtain rail up, I could get a feel for the inside of the frame and it confirmed that the top side was sealed. I couldn't drill into the top without taking the roof off my porch, so I opted to drill a small hole near the top and was pleasantly surprised to find there was no metal on the internal side, so after drilling that hole I could poke the cable right through it and it appeared there. So that half of the cabling operation was easy. For the wires route from inside the frame to the external side, I first marked out the location of the new doorbell, just below my old one, took a deep breath 
and drilled the first hole through the plastic. I then tried to thread a cable in and up and, to my disappointment but no surprise, confirmed that it was in a different internal chamber than the bits at the other side. So it was time to switch to a metal drill bit and cross my fingers before continuing to tunnel through my door frame. In the end I had to go through not one but two metal sections but after I'd done that I was able to poke the hook in and up and it appeared inside the chamber behind the door keep. So now that I had the hook poked all the way from the outside side up and into the chamber inside the frame, I was able to hook it over the cable and secure in place with some electrical tape, then I pulled it through to the outside. So the cable now runs in behind where the doorbell will go, through the two holes in the metal structure, up inside and comes out right at the top there on the inside. <laughs> 